If you've never used PyMall before, the view you get on running it can be a little confusing. There are actually two semi-independent windows that make up the PyMall interface. You can't close either one without closing the entire application. So what's going on? PyMall was developed many years ago and is based on a much older method of building applications called X-Windows. In fact, if you run a Mac as I'm doing here, you'll see the X icon at the top of each window. This doesn't stand for OS X, but rather X Windows. The strangeness goes even further. If I start clicking on the main menu entries, I don't see anything that seems connected to PyMole itself. Think of these menu functions and the application it represents as another application shell wrapping PyMole. All of the PyMole features are actually accessible through this top window, which is called the external interface. The external interface handles everything related to controlling the program itself. For example, it contains all of the application menus. To the right of the external interface, we find a collection of buttons, which can be helpful for doing common tasks quickly. To the left of these buttons and below the PyMall menu, there's a window with some text. The text is generated by PyMall in response to different things we do. For example, it might give us helpful information about our last task, or it might, as it's doing here, tell me about the system I'm running on and the hardware capabilities that were detected. At the bottom of the external interface is a small window with the word PyMall and a greater than symbol. This is the command input field in which I can enter commands. For example, if I enter help, I see a listing of commands I can use displayed in the text output field above. Because we haven't loaded a molecule yet, we can also see the same information in the window below. You may be wondering what this external interface is doing here with its command input field and text output field. This is a more advanced topic we'll cover later, but for now just remember that everything you do in PyMole can be turned into a program for later use. This powerful feature lets us create complex views, calculations, and effects that would be very difficult to do otherwise. Down below the external interface window, we have the, you guessed it, internal interface window. This is the window that deals with display and mouse functions. Most of the time you use PyMole, you'll be using the internal interface. The internal and external interface windows can be moved independently, although the way I'll have them set up throughout this course will be with the external window above the internal window, like this. Now that we know the basics of the PyMall interface, let's get an idea of what we can do with it in the next session.